Hey guys, it's Burberry Nights, and today I'm back. I've I was busy during the summer, so I didn't get to put enough videos up for you guys. But I'm gonna put some videos up now. And my goal for this year is to have 100 subscribers, which shouldn't be that hard. Just spread the name around. Thanks, guys. Today's lesson is well, not a okay. Today's lesson will be how to make your own websites using HTML and CSS. You might be like, Burberry Nights, what's HTML and CSS? Well, I won't show you exactly how to use them, but I'll give you some sources so you can make your own websites using HTML and CSS. It's easier than you may, you may think. So you might be asking, but like before, what is HTML and CSS? It's so confusing. No fear. Well, that was just corny. But let me just go over a random site. Dot net. And you guys can look at this side if you want. And you press view, and you press view source on Safari or on Firefox, it's page source. You press it and it shows you HTML. This is all, this is the language of the web. This page right here came from this, this code over here. This is the HTML. HTML is basically very easy to learn. Some high schools have classes on this, or I'll show you some sources later, you can learn it. All of this stuff over here. It looks confusing, and it, trust me, it is confusing at first, but if you get the hang of it, it's really easy. This is basically CSS. I mean, hyper, sorry, I didn't tell you what HTML meant. HTML means hypertext markup language. So you're giving the browser text to decipher into um, presentation. But for presentation, you use CSS or cascading style sheets, which tell your, your selector, which is H1, so my heading number one, what font it will be, text, and color, which will be this greenish color. So it just does that, CSS. Now one, how would I learn this? Goods websites are w3schools.com, which all these are totally free. And you can learn HTML, you learn CSS. I would suggest doing both of these lessons. This is how basically I learned how to use HTML and CSS using this website right here. So go there, links in the description. And another helpful one is htmldog.com. I think a British person wrote this, but it's a very good website to look for beginner, HTML advanced, but I'd suggest w3schools.com. So you might want to get a book, a good one, or it's Sam's Teach Yourself H HTML and CSS in 24 hours. And it's on Amazon for an attractive price of a nice $20. And another great book is, hmm, actually no, I don't know any other books. But just look around the internet. So you have it and you're learning. But before you start, you might want to get an editor. Editors are how you make your code. I have two right here. I have BBE Edit and I have Dreamweaver. BBE Edit is good and Dreamweaver is good too. But the differences are BBE Edit is just plain text editing. You'll put in your code and then it will, dec will decipher it. But you have to do everything yourself, and you have to basically know HTML markup. But it can help you sometimes. Dreamweaver is basically a beginner's tool. But as I said before, do not, I mean, do not, do not. This is something I was working on. You have to, working on. You have to put all this stuff in. But as I was saying before, do not, do not. I didn't say this before, actually. As I was saying, oh, okay, anyway. On Dreamweaver, it's basically, it's good for design, and basically the the field standard. Some of the people might argue, but I think it's a field standard. Dreamweaver. It has tools to do stuff for you, but you should learn code because what if something is not where you want it? You won't know where to put it or anything. So I suggest starting out with BBE edit, but when you but when you um get experienced with BBE edit, you can try Dreamweaver and do some troubleshooting and stuff. And that's thing for you. BBE edit 
costs money. Dreamweaver costs like $700. I'm not sure exactly. Probably links in the description. But a good free one is Text Wrangler. If you're on a Mac, it's free. Or Notepad++. If you're on Windows, I'm not sure about Linux or anybody else, but I'm sure you could find some. So that's basically how you get, how you learn HTML and CSS. I hope I helped. If I helped you, please leave a comment. If I haven't, then please just say something I haven't done. And I'd appreciate if you subscribed, commented, rated, friended me. I don't care what you do. Just spread the word. Thanks, guys. Adios.